a fourth place, still improving, but he might just need this horse in front to tie up. Our Vic chased by now at Night Legend as they head down to the second last. Our Vic just brushes through the top this time from Night Legend. Mossbank now moves into third. He's getting there slowly but surely, Mossbank, and this could be a very well-timed run, but Our Vic isn't stopping in front. Rounding the final turn with one fence left to go in the Ryanair chase. Our Vic now comes under pressure from Timmy Murphy. Sometimes he curls up up the hill. Mossbank is going to challenge very wide, but Our Vic will jump the last with about five or six lengths in hand. Mossbank tried to close. Then Night Legend, the listener, and Turco racing up the hill. Our Vic by five lengths to Mossbank. He's just got to keep going, Our Vic, in front. He, he surely can't throw it away today. Our Vic has made all the running. The blinkers have worked its magic. And wins the Ryanair chase. Imperial second. Commander and Paddy Brennan. Voipuru Staters has come back despite that error. Good horse. Schindler's Hunt on the outside, followed by Guanaco. Mr. McGoldrick under pressure. Night Legend. And then further back, Monet's Garden. They race to the final turn. And Imperial Commander, the inside of Voipuru Staters, who's being shaken up. He's made a couple of jumping errors. Schindler's Hunt now charging down the outside. The favourite's going to have to dig very deep here if he's going to win. And it's looking less likely as they race towards the second last. Imperial Commander is challenged by Schindler's Hunt. Imperial Commander, a big, bold jump there from Schindler's Hunt. Voipuru Stadis is only third, trying to rally. They race towards the final fence in the Ryanair chase. Imperial Commander is going to pick up first and a good jump again. Maybe a, a quick landing from Schindler's Hunt, though, keeps him in the hunt. Voipuru Stadis is battling on gamely. Imperial Commander finds more up the hill from Schindler's Hunt. Then Voipuru Stadis and racing up towards the line. Imperial Commander is going to see off Voipuru Stadis. Imperial Commander wins the Ryanair. And suddenly he's got them all at it here. Pocklan being pushed along. Javol being held in by Pocklan. Javol desperate for some racing room. And a real barging match there between Walsh and Condon as they run round the final turn. Alberta's run chased by Pocklan. There's a length between them. Javol now with a bit of racing room as they head towards the second last. It's still Alberta's run. A winner of an RSA chase in the past here and he led over the second last from Pockland. Then Javol, deep purple back in fourth and Alberta's run bouncing off the ground and now goes four lengths clear of Pockland and Javol. At the last Alberta's run, jumps it cleanly, just the hill to climb. He's got to keep going. Pockland and Javol are chasing hard. They've got three or four lengths to make up. Then deep purple back in fourth is Alberta's run and Tony McCoy keeping up the gallop. A second festival win for Alberta's run this time in the Ryanair chase. Boy, Tom... Stennis is coming back for more. Javol towards the inside. Ruby Light blundered over the third from home. And Alberta's run has now come through to take the lead for AP McCoy. It's Alberta's run who goes on. Ruby Light in second. Javol is now in third. Voipura Stennis in fourth. Porquanan is in fifth. And then Kalahari King who made the turn in sixth. Tartak is now in seventh. Setting sail down towards the second from home. It's Alberta's run. He's out in front. He's cleared away by two and a half lengths. Ruby Light begins to challenge. Here now on the outside is Javol. They're over the second from home. Pokwalan on the far side. Kalahari King now tries to thread the eye of the needle between horses. Towards the outside is Voipura Stennis. But it's Alberta's run. Down towards the final fence and he jumps it well. But so too Ruby Light to the near side. Kalahari King still staying on. Now switches to the far side. Alberta's run is still out in front. Alberta's run and AP McCoy. Kalahari King now with about half a length to find. Up towards the line. Alberta's run wins for the third time at the Cheltenham Festival. They come into the wings of the third from home and it's still wide open. Alberta's run on the inside of Riverside Theatre against the rail is Ruby Light and it is now Alberta's run and AP McCoy who have got the lead. They go on by half a length to Barry Geraghty and Riverside Theatre now back in second place. The greatest men of me, Ruby Light, is clean to them towards the inside. They've got two furlongs to go and two more plain fences to take. Alberta's run still has the lead to Riverside Theatre for Paddy the Plaster towards the outside. Menemy has come to the inside, two out. Alberta's run one in tight and here's Menemy on the inside. Riverside Theatre, Ruby Light, Captain Chris now begins to stay on. Followed by for Paddy the Plaster and then Summersby, the final fence of the Ryanair. It was Alberta's run that slid the lead to on the inside Menemy towards the near side. That is Riverside Theatre, Alberta's run, Chris the near side. Menemy may just have his head in front. Here's Riverside 
creeping closer on for non-stop. The red colours towards the inside and Champion Court trying gallantly to raise another effort. Over the next and first lieutenant was down on his nose and Cucard's rider looks across and that mistake, first lieutenant under pressure for non-stop and Champion Court trying to rally. Cucard still held together on this turn towards the second last. Leads the Ryanair chase for non-stop. First lieutenant and Champion Court. Three snapping at his heels but still sitting pretty out in front. Joe Tizard on cue card. Champion Court raising another effort. First lieutenant trying to gather reserves. Then for non-stop Riverside Theatre. Two from home. Cue card is over from Champion Court and first lieutenant. And it's cue card by three or four lengths. Champion Court first lieutenant and for non-stop away from Riverside Theatre. The last for cue card. He sees a good stride. He's over. First lieutenant six lengths down and off at the running. It's cue card pricking his ears having a long look around but he's got a big lead over first lieutenant champion court riverside theaters flying up the hill may grab a place but that's all it'll be because q card win at the bumper in 2010 wins the ryanair of 2013. menorah's Seven. dropped right out of it they're coming down towards the next the third last here hidden cyclone rajdani express who's still swinging away for Swat sam twist and uh, for sam whaley cohen then back in third then is hunt ball who's being pushed along rathlin beneficent yet to be delivered then comes dinas who's trying to get into it alpha of his driven hard and Boston Bob needs to pick up quickly. They're straightening up then to the last two fences here and it's Hidden Cyclone who's out in front as he comes down towards it. Rajdani Express, Dinas is picking up ground steadily on the outside. Hidden Cyclone Rajdani Express, Dinas goes into third followed by Hunt Ball. Beneficent is beaten. Alfrov is trying to stage a rally. Hidden Cyclone out in front then. The final fence here as they come towards it in the Ryanair. Here's Dinas challenging Hidden Cyclone. Rajdani Express between horses. Up the hill they come come. Dinast now forges his way to the front here for Tom Scudamore from Hidden Cyclone in second and driven out towards the line. It's another one for Tom Skew and David Pipe. Dinast wins at the festival, wins the Ryanair. Behind those, his wonderful charm, but they're heading now towards the home turn with two fences to jump. Uxig Chandra being closed on. Here's Barry Geraghty on the grey mare, Mafiel, who's a length behind in second. Hidden Cyclone's been up there the whole way, is in third under pressure. John Spirit, of course, specialist, is running on. Edward is next. Don Cossack is trying to get back into it. Hook six Sandra though. AP at the last, the second last. Over it by two lengths to Mafiel. John Spirit has moved into third. Then comes Edward back in fourth. One fence to jump. Hook six Sandra set a fierce gallop with AP McCoy but he's over the last by two lengths. Mafiel is in second place. John Spirit behind this. And then comes Edward and Don Cossack running on but it's going to be a festival winner for AP. Hook six Sandra has made Made most of the running and has won it from miles out. Wins by a good three or four lengths. The grey alpha off. Village Bit has run a mighty race. Is still on the premises. And then Val Salido, who's creeping into it. Batur lands over that obstacle with Ruby Walsh still sitting quietly. Rope to Riches, however, hasn't given up the chase. Then Alpha Rob, Village Bit, Val Salido, they turn for home. Batur and Road to Riches locked together here in the Ryanair. Alpha Rob is three lengths back and each of Wayne is let out. Batur grabs it with gay abandon and moves to the second last, breezing along. Road to Riches, Alpha Rob, then Val Salido. Batur is over the second last. Road to Riches is three lengths down. Then Alpha Rob down towards the final fence in the Ryanair and Batur comes towards it with a five length lead. Steadies into it. It's over the other side. Road to Riches second. Alpha Rob, Val Salido, all quality horses, but they can't get near Batur. Who's going to land a festival hat trick? Another winner for Ruby Walsh. Batur, different gear in the Ryanair. Under so comes in to take it. Great jump over safely. Uxisandra, Aso, Vanitur, Josses Hill, Empire of Dirt trying to get out of trouble in a bit of a crowding issue there as they race on towards the final turn. And Under so still pouring it on. They're trying to close him down though. Under so by four or five lengths. Aso running a big race in second in hot pursuit. Then after the sub lieutenant Vanitur, Josses Hill, Empire of Dirt is now pulled out wide and begins to run on to out under so brilliant again there four five lengths to aso second sub lieutenant empire of dirt josses hill are they playing for places under so here it is the final fence under so oh he 
was superb. And so now, muscling his way up the hill, chasing hard his sub-lieutenant. Can he hold on? And so, up in distance today. Can he last it out up the hill? He's driven out by Ruby Walsh. He's going to get there. And so, wins the Ryanair. For Frodon, but Aso for company, followed by Mona Lee. Road to respect, Frodon and Aso, one and two, as they start on now down the hill. Frodon from Aso, Road to respect on the outside. Last year's Gold Cup fourth, Mona Lee is right there. So too under, so on the inside in that light blue jacket. Footpad is stalking them as they head down to the third last. Frodon and Aso still out in front. Frodon, Aso nods slightly on landing. Uh, then ridden now, Road to respect. Mona Lee, under, so creeping around the inside. Footpad is following him. And then behind these races, Balco de Flo and Coney Island. They swing the final turn and it's still Frodon. Frodon by a length. Under, so scampering around the inside with a challenge. Then Aso, Mona Lee. Footpad is getting closer in the green jacket. And then out wide, Road to respect. Here's the second last. Frodon and Aso. Frodon on the far side. Aso coming back. Under, so not too good there. Out wide, Road to respect is battling on well. They race on towards the final fence and Frodon and Aso are battling it out still. Aso on the near side. Frodon on the far side. Chased hard by Road to respect. And then Mona Lee up the hill. Frodon on the far side. He's pulling out more from Aso. Then back in third row to respect is Frodon and Brani Frost. A match made in racing heaven. He's going to see it out to win again at Cheltenham. And he wins the Ryanair. And Alaho has taken no prisoners. Attacks this third from home. The lead there a couple of lengths. A mistake by Mr. Fisher towards the outside. Min is still there in second. Kalashnikov hard driven to try and get through on his inside. But it's Alaho who is clear now by some seven lengths to Kalashnikov who stayed on into second. From a long way back, Fakir Duderi is staying on in third. He's followed into the race by Tornado Flyer. Min looks held. Mr. Fisher is pulled up and they're racing towards the second last. Alaho comes to it and he's over safely. Alaho still has a lead of some eight lengths over Kalashnikov in second. Fakir Duderi is in third. Tornado Flyer is in fourth. The others at long, long intervals. The final fence. Alaho didn't get very high, but he's still clear by eight lengths. Fakir Duderi on the outside now just still second from Kalashnikov. Tornado Flyer may pick up a piece of it, but he's absolutely beaten by the winner, the emphatic winner, the brilliant winner of the Ryanair chase. Alaho has given Willie Mullins a record fourth win in the Ryanair. It's three lengths for Alaho over Eldorado Allen in second. Shan Blue switched out wide. Then Janadil conflated, now being smuggled into the race by Davy Russell, closing from a long way back. Mellon is last but one, and Fanny and Destreval is tailed off as now they begin to make the run to the bottom of the hill. And it is Alaho, the one they've all got to come and catch. It's Alaho who takes the turn into the home straight. Now Janadil moves into second. On the outside, Conflated is staying on. On the inside, Eldorado Allen. Shan Blue is next, down towards the second last. And Alaho still has his handy advantage. It's nearly four lengths as he takes the second run home. Janadil over in second, down. Conflated went challenging for second place. And down now towards the final fence. Alaho is clear at the final fence now. He's over safely. He paddled his way through it, but he's clear of Janadil staying on in second. Eldorado Allen is back in third. He has made every yard of the running. He will be only the second horse to win the Ryanair twice. And it is Alaho who again wins the Ryanair. Janadil is in seventh. Fury Road is in eighth. And Galor has always been ninth and last, but he's still there pitching, racing now towards a third from home. Shakan Porsoir by high for length. A desperate mistake by Shishkin. Hit that fence very, very hard. Good recovery by Nico de Boinville, but now he's been shuffled back in the field. He will make the turn racing in only sixth place. So they begin to make the turn back towards home. Two more to take in the Ryanair chase. Shakan Porsoir by a neck. French Dynamite on the outside. Envoi Alain still travelling powerfully towards the outside. Blue Lord is staying on. Shishkin looking for racing room. So too is Hitman. Then Janadil towards the wide.
right outside on the run down now towards the final fence. Envoir Allen goes on for Rachel Blackmore. French Dynamite on the inside. Hitman and then Shishkin only fourth over the final fence. Envoir Allen by about a length to Hitman who will now challenge in second. Back in third on the inside. French Dynamite. Shishkin looks held in fourth. They've got another 150 yards to go. Envoir Allen is out in front and he's going to win at the festival for the third time. The Ryanair goes to Envoir Allen. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.